Hello everybody, welcome back to Tomb Raider 2! Oh, I, I, I'm afraid I lied to you. What do you mean you lied to me? Well, I needed to get you out here, didn't I? Uh -huh. So sometimes you have to be creative with the truth. I'm afraid this isn't Tomb Raider 2, it's um, Angel of Darkness. Really? Yeah. No. I'm not doing this! Hey, I'm back. not doing this! I'm not come doing back. this! No, no, no! Come back! Never! Get back here! <laughs> no! Oh, dang it! I haven't promised five pounds to do this. <laughs> you have to be creative with the truth sometimes. <laughs> this is. I'm. A f I know. I told you it was Tomb Raider 2, but I needed to get you down here. But really, it's Angel of Darkness. Again, that sucks. Is your headset on? Well, of course it is. I can see it, but <laughs> my headset is on me. Can you hear it? Yes. Can the microphone hear you? I don't know. Well, let's hope so. Okay, do you reckon I should go through these doors? Yes. Good idea. Now let's start with the other intro. What? The other intro. Other intro? Introduced in this level. Yeah, this is Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness Hall of Seasons, which is surrounded by four other levels. Mm -hmm. um, so basically it's five levels. And I have opened some doors, I think. And I think this takes me to Breath of Hades. And this is the correct one, so I have to match that symbol up there. Basically, those four things over there, I step on them, and then it opens doors, and I have to match the symbol with what I stepped on in order for it to take me to the right place, I think. Because there's three... There's, every time you step on that, it opens three doors. You see the symbols? Yeah. Every time you step on it, it opens three doors. And through the three doors, only one of them works. The other two are fake. They sort of take you to a place you want to go to. So I've got to match that symbol. Um, okay, it's not that. And it's not that. So it's... Yeah, this. I think. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the gate will open and what I'm standing on will not collapse. Okay, the gate's opened. Yeah, but and it collapses, how about that? <laughs> and that will take me through to, I think it's the Breath of Hades. But firstly, let's say hello to this guy. Do you know what this guy does? Do you know what he does? Hits you with a sword. Well, let's see. Are you right? You are right. He attacks you. However, I have a theory on something that I might say to him that might make him stop attacking us. <laughs> what? Do you know what I've got to say to him? What? I've got an idea. I've got something to say that I reckon will stop him from attacking us. What? Something that you should know very, very well. 13 squared is 169. What? He still attacks me! <laughs> oh, what? shut up! How on earth is that right? <laughs> quiet. Yes, um... Well, those of you won't know, but that's a direct... Um... What, what even is it? Piss take. It's a direct piss take towards Ross. Do you want to explain? No. Do you want me to explain? No. But I just look like a complete idiot, because people are going to be thinking, what on earth is that? <laughs> That's the that's the point. Okay, how about this? Okay, okay. One time, one time when I was at school, I get bullied, uh, so I turn around and see, think maybe this will stop him. First, he tells me he was 169. Did that work? No, it did. He just punched me even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically, you obviously, with all due respect, you were a kid. Yes. And yeah, you were being picked on, and you thought that if you said to him, 13 times 13 is 169, you thought he'd be impressed and leave you alone. No, I thought, I thought he'd be like, what the heck is, what the heck is, what this kid, huh? Yeah, think about this, huh? But instead, didn't he just punch you in the face? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is Breath of Hades, a level where, um, death is almost a certainty because it requires extreme accuracy with your jumps. If you fall, you fall to your death. You need to make it across, and you've got to step on those... What are they? Pillars. Okay, those pillars. And also, if you get engulfed with the wind when you jump, it, it knocks you about. I don't, well, think, I don't think it knocks you about if you're stood still, but if you jump, then I think it like knocks you about and increase, increases the chances of you falling to your death. Oh, that flows. It does. It does blow. Oh yeah, what's the, what's the last part? It's, uh, what, me not getting my own capture card, eh? Let me ask you this, who helped, who helped you get the capture card? Um, Amazon? 
Uh, who, helped, who helped you get the equipment that you needed to, in order to record? Uh, it came with the capture card. Who, who, who helped you? Who, who, who gave you this microphone then? Uh, a very generous individual. Bas basically, I, I was the one who helped him set set it up. You were the one who helped me look online for an appropriate capture card. And the other things that you need. And the other things that I needed, and you were the one that helped me set it up. Yes. I'm going to wait until it's safe to... Well, let's just try now. Okay, I'm across. Yeah, the best way to do this, I find, is with just really small hops. Hold down the walk button and jump, you do a small, very small hop. I just find hopping from one to the other is the best way to go about it, but you need to wait until they're a certain distance apart, because you can probably see that they're moving. Yeah, and I yeah, believe yeah. I can now jump across to where I need to be. Oh, I made it across without dying. <laughs> That's a miracle. <laughs> what, you thought something bad was going to happen? Well, I honestly couldn't possibly tell you how many times I died at this on my very, very first playthrough. Hall of Seasons is a very hard level, I find, because it's got four levels surrounding it, and each level just has, like, millions of, like, instant deaths. Here, it was a case of me just falling to my death because I kept misjumping every time. And falling to your death does get a bit overrated after a while, and I'm hoping I can just walk straight onto this, because it, it virtually touches. Can I walk straight onto it? I saw it says yes. I almost ran off, though. Just for you. Now, can I jump onto that one over there? Oh! There, go, there goes my deathless thing. Well, good for you. It does have running tradition, you can caught on fire and... Uh, fire. Technically, I didn't catch on fire. Well, you had a lava. Although, Sanctuary of the Flame... Uh, there's four levels. Breath of Hades, Sanctuary of the Flame, Wrath of the Beast, and Neptune's Horde. And Sanctuary of the Flame is probably where I will catch fire if I am going to catch fire. <laughs> okay. As you have also loved the last one, yes, I have started my own channel. Well, I had that channel since 2010, I just didn't, didn't use it until now. Well, that's okay. I, I, I mean, I I got my, I signed up to my channel in 2010. I didn't upload until 2011. I didn't, I, 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 got, I started mine in 2010, didn't upload until 2014. 15, yeah. actually. Oh yeah, this, so this is a well-placed um, item. So obviously, if you come here when they're blowing wind, I don't think they... Okay, I just realised. I just realised, I just realised. <laughs> you just realised what you said? When they when there's wind firing out of their mouths, I don't think... <laughs> Is that worse? <laughs> just carry on! But whatever, what... I don't, I, I, I don't think that they, that one opens until after you get the mandatory item over there. So, um, I, I think those items can't be collected until afterwards. Now, I want that to move further away. Keep moving, keep moving. Let's try now. Okay. And now I want to get... Wait, this gets to a certain distance. And hop! Oh! Uh -huh. Yeah, you, you, you physically can't get good at this bit. It is literally just a case of doing it 10,001 times and succeeding once. Why 10,001? Because you fail 10,000 times and succeed once. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, basically, when you're playing on the PS2 with the horrendously awful controls, when you're, when you're doing this game for the very, very, very first time, you've never done the game before, you've never seen a playthrough of it, you've never done anything like that, it's your very first experience of the game, I don't think it's humanly possible to do Hall of Seasons and all the levels that surround it without dying. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, you'd be like me and just give up because the game sucks. A lot of people have done that. Because this game does suck. I... It's, the, it's the whole reason. It's the whole reason. It's the whole reason why uh, like my core never made, made another two red again. Well, they weren't they rushed? weren't they weren't they rushed when making this game? Yes, just so they could come up with no. Um, they made an engine. They realised that it, that it was uh, too technical to be on the PS2, so they had to scrap the original one and they had to make another one. But then, IDOS, uh, I believe it is, if that's the company's name, decided to uh, say, "Hey, the movie's coming out. Make, make a game. Make a game." So. Uh, we need another year. No! Make it! it needs to be out this year. 
So, so they ordered them. They ordered them to make it quickly when it was incomplete, and then they moaned because it wasn't successful. Well, aren't they? Aren't they? Isn't that interesting? Well, 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 well that's it. Well, well, you could, you could, you could say that was the beginning. People tend to say that that's the that was the beginning of the end for Tomb Raider, and it's that's getting old now. It's because people, are people either because that's when he decided to hand over to Crystal, and this, and people either love the either like those games or think they're not as good as the original. I can't really comment because I've never really played Crystal. I mean, yeah, I've, I've played a tiny bit of Anniversary. I, I mean, which... this, well, Anniversary is better than this. Anniversary is better than this. I've only played Anniversary, and well, it wasn't a particularly pleasant experience. What's so bad about it? It's not that bad. Uh, I'm not going to judge Crystal on that one game. I need to. I need to play the others first. No, I love. Will I make this across? Well, is this going to be? Is this, is this going to be ten minutes of me? I've seen this. Well, I, I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but this is going to go on for a long time. I'd imagine. I probably should break this down into parts. Maybe have the first part of maybe two of these levels, and another part with the other two levels, and then the other part with the rest of all of seasons. Maybe, maybe three parts or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as of this recording, I am. I I, I finished uploading Digital Racing. That more server so gets stuff that we've done. Um, and also just started uploading Mario Party 2. By the way, you should you should go to my channel and watch the, watch those watch those especially Space and Mystery Land. When it gets uploaded, watch them. Why? Because you win. No. Something very interesting. Does this does this say You mean me shooting myself in the foot? Can you stop saying you, you spoil it. No, are, you, are you familiar with badass games? Badass. Badass games? A, a, a YouTube person. They, they did a walkthrough of this game. No. Oh, well, they, they did a walkthrough of this game. A very helpful walkthrough, I must say, as well. I found it very helpful, because where I was not very good at the game at the time, the walkthrough really helped me get a bit better at it. And he said, th these skeletons, or wh whatever they are, the are they skeletons? Uh, yes. Okay, well, the skeletons with swords, he said you can't kill them, but you can name them. And he, in Tomb of a a Ancients, he actually named the skeleton Joey, which I found quite comical. Joey? <laughs> yeah. Why did they name it Joey? Well, I don't know, I guess he just wanted to. Um, Was there anything further? I would say, well, I would say probably where you got that from, but, uh, like I said, I haven't seen any of this stuff. Is there any other plate war that he's done? I think he's done, like, I think he's pretty much exhausted Tomb Raider. And anything else? Like, well, I've only, I've only seen his Tomb Raider anniversary walkthrough. It was very helpful for me, being very new to the game. What? You said anniversary. Oh, sorry, Angel of Darkness. Ah, so, so maybe maybe watching that make you make you appreciate that anniversary more. Even though I find it odd that anniversary is the worst selling Tomb Raider game. Maybe because it's maybe, maybe people weren't so fond of a remake. Maybe they wanted original stuff. I don't know. Oh, yeah, please don't stand and, me. And yet, and yet, and yet, people buy remakes of this year like like mad. Well, I don't know, do I? Maybe people, maybe people didn't like. What was the game before Anniversary? Was it Legend? Yeah, Legend. Maybe people didn't like Legend very much, and maybe they were put off like Crystal and Tomb Raider. Well, that, well I, I don't. I like Legend. In my opinion, that's why. It's only a my, suggestion. It's my favorite Tomb Raider game. It's only a suggestion. I don't. I know. I know. It's a suggestion. Hey. And this level, getting stabbed to death, is very overrated after a while. What, um, what, what you get attacked by a fish? No, you get stabbed to death by these blade things. Um, you, mean, you mean the traps? Yeah. Now I need to not lose health, because I need to save my health packs for the harder levels. So I will reload if I lose health unnecessarily, if I lose too much health. We should hurry, well, hurry up then. Um, yeah. And I've... my mind's gone up, blank. Uh, up, up, up. Yeah. My mind went blank very briefly. Come on, get, get to the Okay, I'll make it. I'll make it. Hopefully. I've made it. Now I'm going to do now. What do you do? Jump! Yeah. Um, that, 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 looked, that looked like... That, that, I kind of looked like the war didn't, didn't, even, didn't even register at first. No, well, that switch I pulled, it, it, it put water here, so, so I was able to drop down. Well, then, don't they say if you fall from the height, even if it's in water, if it's a big height, it will hurt? Yes, it will. 
It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just don't belly flop. That would really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Yeah, I'm up to this bit. Um. Now there's three places to go through. I want to go through the two wrong ones because the wrong ones have items. Have you had the items? And I am at the wrong one. Well, one of the wrong ones. <laughs> and I get myself a large health pack. No, right, it's worth it after all. Yeah, I need to be saving my health packs for the harder levels, so I need to try not to get stabbed because I don't want to be losing health and dying or like popping health packs and stuff. So I will be saving, I will be reloading if I so wish. Yeah, like I said, I do like too many friends, dude. Under, uh, well, people do like, uh, well, some people either love or hate Underworld. I like, I liked it. Granted, though, there is a problem with that game where if you, if you do something where on the second, third, I think it's third, where if you do something, if you, like, say, leave a certain, certain thing here, the, the game will literally become unbeatable. Well, you mean you can... The level, the level will literally... You, you mean just, you can properly mess up? Yeah, and, and you cannot literally beat the level again, even if you reload. Even if you reload? Yeah. What, you mean you're just permanently screwed? Yeah, you, you have to start the whole level over again. Whole, the whole level or the whole game? The whole level. Oh, okay. Well, it's not, it's not as bad as the whole game, I guess. Yeah, it could be worse. See, Last Revelation and Chronicles have things where it, you actually have to restart the whole game or reload a previous load. Really? Well, reload a previous save point. And if you haven't got any, then you're screwed. That sounds kind of bad. It is. For, well, I say fortunately it's only at the later levels, but that's... But then that's at the, later, the later levels! But I, what I was going to say is actually that's worse, because that's more progress that goes down the... Yeah. Yeah. Well, what would you say that's a lot? What would you say? Yes, it's worse because there's more progress <laughs> yeah, than you, you lost your, At the end of the game, you can't beat it. People, people aren't going to say, oh, okay, I'm going to do it over again. Or. So I was just checking the audacity was on. I hope it was. Yeah, I, I thought I'd check after 17 and a half minutes instead of checking immediately. <laughs> it's, it's just that people are going to say, you know what, I'll do it again, I'll suffice. Or people are just going to be like, you know what, no. Too much. No, I took too long. Don't care. I don't care. I was looking at. I thought that was. I thought that was hard. I for a second there. Huh. Okay, I made it past all of them apart from one. And this one's the hardest because there's less less safe bits. I thought you. I thought you said you. I thought you said you. You're going to restart if you if you lose much health. Oh, I've not. I've not lost too much health. Looks like you lost like you lost your half your health. Well, there's a handy technique which I'm going to tell you about when I can be bothered to. I've made it through. When you enter a new level, your health refills. Hall of Seasons and the four levels that surround it are all separate levels. So when you go from Hall of Seasons into one of the other levels, your health refills. And when you go back into Hall of Seasons, your health refills. So when I go back to Hall of Seasons, my health will refill. And then, even if I lose health in Hall of Seasons, if I go into a different level, it will, my health will then refill. That's why I let that skeleton dude attack me, because I was going to be entering Breath of Hades, and when I did, my health refilled. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I let the guy attack me, because I knew my health would refill when entering Breath of Hades, and I'm okay with the amount of health that I've got here, because it will see me through until I return to Hall of Seasons, and so my health will refill. Good. So, handy. The only thing is, though, you can only go into each one of these levels once, and I'm forgetting where I am. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Go through here, sir. Yeah. You can only go. F you can only go f into each one of these levels once, and so there does come a time where you're not going to be able to do things the cheap way. Okay. So you miss out on a mini pack. You're not going to get it. Oh, go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Hello there, uh, uh, what the, uh, hello there, flame sword guy. I call you the flame swordman. <laughs> Original name, don't you agree? Maybe. Yeah, well, you, um, yeah, um, I, I don't know about the whole idea of naming them because I don't want to make it seem like I'm copying somebody else. Um, okay. I'll, na I'll name them if you will. If you name them, then I'll name them. Okay, then. Um, hold on, where's that skeleton? Uh, it should be out here somewhere. 
Where is he? Over there. Hello, hello, hello there, will Hello, uh, hello there, sk Skinny Bob, Vincent the Fourth, and the second of the third of the citizens, and another the third junior. Okay, that's an interesting name. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful. <laughs> think, no, you say it. Um, <laughs> I don't think it, I don't think I could produce a name that quite competes with that. Uh, checking the symbol, I think this one's a safe one. Although I'll probably jump left just to be sure. Again, this is a safe one. Uh, I think this is Wrath of the Beast. Well, it's green. Maybe it is. It is. Oh yeah, now a very interesting cutscene coming up here. It, what is it? Like, what is it, Bernard? <laughs> I'll show you the cutscene, and then we'll talk about that in a moment. Okay, you immediately you see something that makes you shit yourself. You see, you think to yourself, "Please tell me I do not have to fight that thing." Please tell me I do not have to fight that thing. Please to God. <laughs> and you do? Hurry up, you should have cut scene. Hurry up. <laughs> Instead, it starts to shake and the thing collapses. And you think to yourself, thank God, I don't have to fight it. However, you then notice the ground breaks. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so it's like, oh shit, please tell me I don't have to fight it. Oh, good, it breaks. Oh shit, the ground. <laughs> so it's well, like, well, it's it? like, oh, what's the, what's the part I've seen? Isn't it? Yes, you saw me briefly. But then, yeah, this bit, you think to yourself, and then you're like, okay, well, maybe I should have just fought that thing instead. <laughs> right then. Um, yeah, there's well hidden bandages down here. Oh, I thought you were going to do two, le two levels. Well, I've only been going for. 22 minutes. Only 22 minutes. Um, maybe I'll do something else instead, I don't know, but I'm going to be saving here anyway. So we were talking about Bernard, weren't we? Yeah. What, what, what did you say? I said Bernard. What? I just wanted to say, is Bernard in there? Is Bernard in here? Is he the beast? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we left him behind in the park. But, um... Oh, I see. He was too busy. <laughs> it was far too busy. Too busy for us. I, um, I, I, I just absolutely love Bernard. I just find him hilarious because he's in the park. He stood on the spot. He's doing absolutely nothing, and he's like, and he's like, leave me alone. I'm busy. Mm -hmm. And it's like you're stood on the spot. You're doing absolutely nothing. How can you be busy? And what I just find more interesting now is just how horrible he is. <laughs> like, well, if you pick the option, you should be more polite to strangers. You never know who they are. He goes, I don't give a dead <laughs> cuss who you are. A dead, and, what? what? Dead cuss? Did you, did you a, say a dead, dead cuss. C-U-S-S. -S. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, C-U-S-S. -S. Yeah. He did, he did, he just says cuss? He says, I don't give a dead cuss who you are. Ah, so, yeah. ah, so, he, ah, so, he, so he's, so, ah, so he's, so he's just like slow, I see. <laughs> and then Lana says, oh, Janice said you were a real charmer. Well, shit. <laughs> That's why I guess I tried to say to myself. I just find him hilarious, just how incredibly horrible he is. I mean, he's horrible in a way that's funny. <laughs> you know, some people are horrible in a way that's horrible. He's yeah. horrible in a way that's... Funny. Like that? Like that, Jesse? Because I found that funny. <laughs> I think the impression I made jumped too far. Really? I couldn't really tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, now I should be naming the skeleton. Then, okay? then, 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 then. The one in the main room, I'm going to name him Set 94. Set 94. Set 94. S E T H 9 4, all one word, set 94. That's what I'm going to name them. For a second, I thought you jumped too far again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, 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 oh. Tommy, this is not the time. We don't, we, we've done several cases, there's nothing else we can do for that game. What? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna save over this one just in case I mess up. Wait, wait, did I say, did I say 2099? I would hope not. No, seriously, I just said, I'm sorry, I said 2099. Oh, sh damn it! What, what? This is gonna break. You glitch through the floor. It's gonna break, it's gonna break. No, no, you! But, um, yeah. Um, well. Oh, great. It looks like Lara's trapped there forever. That's easy.
that's weird. Hold on. 3112, is that? New Year's. 31st of December 2099. Oh, great, it's going to be, it's going to be whatever millennium this is. Okay, well, either my game's glitched, or the game's programmed weirdly, or, or, or my console was programmed weirdly, or I just have no idea. Or the console was something that, yeah. I don't know, I don't get that, but whatever, yeah, it's 2099, okay. I'll be dead by then! I can pretty much say that, I'll probably be dead by then. Let's hope for more luck this time. Okay, now, um, no, um, I'm actually, when I said I named the skeleton Set94, that's actually a member on the Tomb Raider forum. Oh. I'm actually naming them after members on the Tomb Raider forum. Uh, Set94 is actually a huge lover of this game. This is his favourite Tomb Raider game. No offence, dude! That, I, I, I think, but I think he's done. Don't agree at all. I know it's all opinion, but what? I, I what the hell is going on? Well, he likes the game because um, he can see beyond the negatives. He can see beyond the bad controls. He can see beyond the glitches, and he can see the game for like its epic storyline and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, we're accompanied by another skeleton, and another skeleton, and another skeleton. Hello, uh, hello skeleton. Uh, hello. Um, that one, that one there, we're gonna name him Sackboy. Um, that one over there, we're gonna name DVD Spike. I'm just gonna pull the switch. Who's that one? Um, that's, that's Sackboy. Hey, Sackboy, <laughs> give me a look. Hey! This looks familiar, doesn't it? Ha! Put the fire out. <laughs> and that one over there is Pete. I'm, I'm, guess, I'm, guess, I'm guessing Sackboy wants you, wants, wants you to get caught on fire for at least one minute ago. Well, one thing to say to you, Sackboy, you failed. So, ha. Open up your. Oh, wait, I haven't done the other switch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joy. It's fun, guys. I want to see if you get caught on fire again. You know what's funny? <laughs> uh, which one's Peeves? Which one's Peeves? Which one's Sackboy? I don't know! They all look the bloody same! <laughs> Yeah, Peeves, Sackboy, and DVD Spike. That's what we'll name those ones. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> hey, guys, look, I got it! No, no. <sighs> ha! No fire death this time. Ah, oh, dang it, guys. We, we fucked up. <laughs> you set me on fire, but it didn't kill me. I survived <laughs> fire for the first time. <laughs> How long was that going to last? Um, not very long. <laughs> Have I died from fire yet in this game? I know, I know I've, like, uh, fallen no. into a... I know I fought the Lava, but. Fall into Lava doesn't count technically. I should do another level, I'm guessing. Sorry? Do another level? Yeah, they did it Now, where's Set 94? There it is over there. Let's just open. No, that's not this level. That's the kind of thing before I said to you, I've got to say, Set 94, I'm gonna kick you. Ugh! 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 Tomb Raider 4 is the best Tomb Raider game! Um, he does like, he does like Tomb Raider 4. Um, I believe that's the right symbol, let me just check. What have I just stepped on? Um... Uh, I believe you stepped on the one yeah. that's right in front of you. Okay, it looks like this one's the right one. Um, yeah, this is Sanctuary of the Flame. In my opinion, the hardest. Why, right, because it involves fire? No. Oh uh, yeah, no, I don't think any skeletons feature in this one. Oh. I was gonna I was I was gonna I was gonna I was gonna do the one that falls over that falls over tycoon. <laughs> do what the Basically there's a fire race. Basically, you have to make it across before the fire comes firing across and kills you. However, there's an alternative way of doing it. You can just wait for wait for the fire to go across and stay here, and then jump afterwards, thus completely beating the race. Uh, well, wait, wait for what, it. Why don't you, you just run for it? Um, because it's a very nasty time sequence. There, there you go. It's very hard to beat it. Because even if you make it across, it still like gets you, so you have to be incredibly quick. Okay. 
Even though I never played this part of the game because the game sucks. Well, the game has far superior graphics and that doesn't mean that, that, that doesn't mean anything. And an epic storyline. But obviously the game kind of ruined itself with its controls and glitches and stuff. I mean, when I think about the game, I don't really like get urges to play it, but when I do play, I do end up liking it. Uh Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. She drowned in lava. That's right. Oh, now she's come out. Now she's floating. <laughs> she's um, floated in lava. I mean, I do, I do quite enjoy the game. I mean, I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't, I mean, I rate it below the first four Tomb Raiders, though. I, 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 I like the game, I guess. Well, what are you going to say about the other Tomb Raiders? Are you going to play it blindly? Oh, yeah, but, um, well, I don't know, I... Uh, I don't know what to expect from playing Legend. I mean, I'm going to be doing a blind out piece of Legend. Well, it'll be Legend, then Anniversary. I just have to play the games and see what I make of them. You get to play an uh, Anniversary, right? Says who? Because that because because uh, because uh, Legend Anniversary is only one of actually technically a trilogy. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. Events in uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary come come in uh, Tomb Raider Underworld as well. Tomb Raider Underworld. Well, take things one step at a time. At the moment, we just have to do this. And then he then then has to play the reboot. Yes. Did you say Lara in that game is flat chested? Well, what did I say? Wait, did, did somebody say that? Well, somebody said that, yes, but not I didn't say Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, is it true? Yeah. I was going to say, because one of the things that Lara Croft is remembered for is her rather large breasts, shall we say, <laughs> and... No, 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 what she's remembered for is her very large guts. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just very surprised that they would change something that's so... It's a, re it's a reboot. A very good reboot, to be honest. I, I, I mean, it's better than uh, some other reboots. Although, one thing I will say, though, is obviously Lara is in good shape. Because obviously, for what she has to do, she needs to be, you know, like muscular and I mean, physical and stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah, like, like you, like you said last part. You found her, you said she's fit. I said she's thin, no. It says, it, to me, it sounds like it says fit. I, I know what I said. <laughs> but, I mean, for what Lara does, obviously, she is. Oh, she is in good shape. She is muscular. She is physical. She is. That sort of stuff. She has to be that, and she is that. She's a strong, independent woman. However, when women are like have like good fitness and they're in good shape and they've got like muscle stuff, doesn't that normally cause their breasts to like get smaller? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking me <laughs> because it's like when you because I remember you know like you've got programs like World's Strongest Man. Yeah. You've also got programs like World's, World's Strongest, Strongest Woman, Woman, and they are literally. Completely and utterly 100% flat chested. Not that I look flat sort of stuff, but. <laughs> yeah. They said that apparently too much muscle can cause stuff like that to disappear, but. It's a video game, it's fiction. Uh, how about we move on and stop talking about breasts? How about yeah. we talk about something else? How about the fact, how about the fact that. How, how about the fact that she, how, how, how the fact that she doesn't do all, do, do all of the two in the reboot? She what? She doesn't have do all pistols in the reboot. Really? Sort of. Now you think you were stuck here for? You would think you were stuck here until that thing appears. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. It does happen. Fortunately, it doesn't set you on fire. Uh. Wait, so you have to wait for them to appear? Yeah. And then after, after, after the reboot, he has, he has to get a play Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh, wait a minute, I just realised it's actually exclusive to the Xbox consoles. Is it? Yeah. Oh. I've not killed anything so far, have I? No. Oh, okay. I think not. I don't think you can't even kill him, but. Um, well, you see. can kill the skeletons if you knock them into oblivion. Well, you kicked one.
The only thing I hope that, I don't think I wish that, I wish they had to do our playthroughs is that I hope, you hope, you hope there's another glitch. What? I, wanna, I hope for another glitch. Are you talking about that graveyard level? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I cannot explain that. Not to mention Fouchard being handcuffed as well. Why, why, the, why the hell is he handcuffed it? I haven't got a clue. Now I need to... The four items that I've collected, I need to put them here, and I then need to go through any... I need to now go beyond any door of my choice, and this time pull the wrong switch, and this time fall into the trap, because that's actually where I need to go now. Really? Yeah. You and I've chosen, I think it's Wrath of the Beast, because I think there's some items there when you drop down that the others don't have or something. Go away, Sets94, go away. This is the best to win a game. Hey! Leave me alone! <laughs> hey! I'm <laughs> Okay, look. <laughs> oh, I think you're, yeah, I think you'll be offended by that. Oh yeah, you yeah you think you're so big, don't you? With your shield, shield and your sword and your bony body, you think and, you're so big and, and hard, don't you? You think you're so big and hard, don't you? It's just because you've got a little sword and you're gonna run after me and you're gonna chop my fucking head off. <laughs> Now, I have a feeling I'm at the stage where my health doesn't refill. If you're watching this set 94, I hope you're happy. You've taken like a third of my health up. Do you want me to succeed at this challenge or not? I don't know, ask him. Um, I've been going for 37 minutes. I should probably call this the end of the first part because I've already done the four mini levels and now it is just the rest of all of season. So I. We do need to be ending here. Yeah, like you're after an hour, an hour long bit level. <laughs> which, which is just it's a super part, to be honest. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and thank you to Set94, Peeves, Sackboy, and DVD Spike for their contributions as skeletons. Thank you to you four lovely boneheads. Love me. And thank you to you as well. <laughs>